Hello, thank you for watching this video on how to operate Tomcat while preserving the current mid tier. These are the general steps to perform the operate. First, we need to stop the current Tomcat service. Then, we need to install the new Tomcat. When the new Tomcat is installed, we need to move the ARC 6 xml file from the previous Tomcat to the new installation. Then, we need to configure the Java options and the ports to be used. Lastly, we need to update the file deployer settings. I'll walk you through this process in a minute, but first, let's take a look at the considerations to take into account while performing this process. These are the Java options that we'll be using in this process. Please take a note. If you are using Java 8, you need to use max meta space size in the Java options. If you are using Java 7, you need to use max print size. Another consideration is, if you had previously configured SSL or TLS in your old Tomcat, remember to copy the HTTPS connector with the keys to location in your new Tomcat. Then, we need to update the error monitor configuration file in order to configure the new Tomcat service name, as it is displayed in the Windows services. Now that we have seen the previous configurations to take into account, I'll show you the steps in order to upgrade and configure the new Tomcat. First, we need to stop the previous Tomcat service that is running on this server. For this, we're going to go to Windows Services, select the process, and then Stop. Once this process is stopped, we can continue installing the new version of Tomcat. For this case, I will be installing Tomcat 8542 with the Windows Service Installer. In this section, we have to configure the ports that Tomcat will be using for this installation. These ports have to be the same as the previous Tomcat that you have installed. Also, please note that the name under the Windows service name is the one that we have to configure later on under the File Deployer Air Monitor configuration file. Now we have to configure the Java location that this Tomcat will be using. Select the path to install. Once this installation is done, we need to unselect the two options and click Finish. Then, we need to configure the ARC's XML file that is under the previous Tomcat installation. For this, we have to navigate to this Tomcat that we previously have installed, and then go to Configuration, Catalina, and then Localhost Directory. Under the new installation, we have to go to Configuration as well. As you will notice, we don't have the Catalina folder installed here, this is because the application or the server has not been started yet. What we can do is simply copy the Catalina directory that we have in the old Tomcat onto the new installation. This will contain the path to where Meteor is installed. Now, we need to validate that the server XML files in the two Tomcats contain the same connector information. For this, we have to edit the server XML file in the two Tomcats. For this, you can just copy and paste the same connectors onto the new server XML file, and then just save. Once these files have been saved, we now need to configure the Java options to be used within the new Tomcat. For this, we have to open up the Tomcat properties that are located under the Vin folder in the new Tomcat, and then double-click on the executable file that contains the w.exe on the name. And then, we have to switch to the Java tab, and at the bottom of the Java options, we need to copy and paste the same Java options that we saw on the presentation. Also, make sure to adjust the Java heap size on, it, on this Tomcat. Then click Apply, and then OK. Now, as a last step, we need to configure the new Tomcat service name onto the file deployer settings. For this, we have to navigate to the location where we have Meteor installed. Then go to File Deployer, and then to Configuration, and open up the Air Monitor configuration file. In here, you have to update to the new Tomcat service name that we have configured before. And then just keep Save. Once this has been saved, the last thing to do is go to the Windows Services 
unlocate the Meteor File Deployer service and restart it. Once the service is restarted, you can now start the new Tomcat service and now continue to log into Remedy as usual. If you require more information on how to properly configure Tomcat, please find the following documentation that will guide you through this process. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.